Um, so Riri, thanks so much for joining us today. If you could just kindly um, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about the film. Yeah. My name is Riri Riza. I'm a film director from Indonesia. My film that uh, is in uh, fifth this year is uh, Emma or Mother, the English title. And it's a story about a family lives in around the mid 50s to mid 60s Indonesia and uh, centered on a mother who is going through the polygamy mm -hmm. uh, process within a Muslim family mm -hmm. uh, back then. Uh, the story is actually still echoed till today. Uh, we live in a very modern society nowadays, but uh, s things like this still happen uh, within f some families in Indonesia. Interesting. And I understand that this film was actually adapted from a book. Uh, what made you want to tell this particular story? Was there some sort of personal connection for you mm. or just you felt? Yeah, the, the novel was actually written based on the story of, you know, a, an actual person, an actual family mm -hmm. that still live and quite prominent uh, in, in Indonesia, especially in the, in the island of Sulawesi where I was born. Okay. Uh, and then that is one thing that attracted me to the story. So it, it tells something uh, very dear to me because it's about, you know, it's almost very close to my experience when I was a child living with a mother with a with a very devout Muslim family. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like so, so, some sort of uh, 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 like a culture or mm -hmm. ethics between uh, family members about uh, how a mother, uh, how a wife treat his uh, her husband and uh, how the, the relationship between families. Lots of happening in a dining table, for mm -hmm. example. So it's a, it's my childhood experience in a way. Uh, luckily, my my father didn't go, uh, didn't do a polygamy. Yeah. But you know, the 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 feeling of a family going through crisis is something very close to me. And I I was born in an island called Sulawesi mm -hmm. in the central of Indonesia, which is rarely portrayed in Indonesian film. So um, I, I think this is a very good opportunity with this film to to be a window to to this culture and w which we never know maybe maybe vanishing in the next uh, in the future. So this film can be a good documentation of it. Interesting. And you do touch on a lot of uh, themes in this film. So as you mentioned, polygamy, even the garment industry, uh, maybe mm -hmm. some feminism as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of conversation do you hope that you'll spark, uh, especially amongst Indonesian audiences, since this seems to be you know, a film that really much reflects uh, Indonesian values and challenges that? Mm. I think it's, it's very important that um, we, we again reconnect with the, with the, with the with a cultural, um, you know, like a set of system that actually um, started to, we are started to distance nowadays, relationship between, you know, family members, uh, you know, mother and son, uh, father and daughters, and, you know, think this, this kind of thing is started to forgotten. Indonesia is developing a lot lately, but one, uh, our economy is growing, some people say, uh, and, um, yeah, I think I hope the film can be can start you know a dialogue. Uh, I hope the film can be like a, you know like a mementos of uh, the past that is uh, can still be very much uh, you know vibe mm -hmm. to our feeling today and mm -hmm. and yeah and can start a discussion within within a family member. Cinema is very much a family thing, especially a. Uh, uh, this kind of film. Uh, this, uh, this is a kind of film that back home can be seen by, you know, all, basically all age. Uh, and uh, I hope this can be something of, uh, of a good uh, way to start to talk about family uh, values again. Interesting. And what has the reception been like with Indonesian audiences and then say with more international audiences? Mm -hmm. Well, we actually, uh, it's, it's a very nice coincidence. I, the, the film just started in Jakarta last Thursday on the 29th of September okay. and the day after I left uh, for uh, for Vancouver yeah. to show it on the 2nd of October. Um, the reception back home by critics is very well, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's very, very well received. Uh, lot, we, I got lots of uh, good comment from That's the great. critics. Uh, the audience is uh, okay uh, in the first weekend. I hope it's going to uh, get better the next uh, later. But you know, our cinema 
going habit back home is very much influenced by Hollywood, uh, you know, because distribution all over the world is uh, by Hollywood's uh, system. Um, but I, all, I, I think this film managed to arrive in cinema the first place is something that I'm very grateful about. And uh, there are many ways uh, to, to introduce your film nowadays, and I'm very happy to be here in Vancouver. Uh, there are, uh, last night we have like a, a very good turn up in the cinema, and I think around 30% are Indonesian living in Canada, and for them it's, it's a quite exciting, it's a very eye-opening yeah. experience watching the film. Uh, so I'm very happy. Um, Great. Um, do you have any words of encouragement for you know Indonesian audiences to go into the cinema and see something that maybe challenges um, you know uh, your values mm. as a, as a country? I think it's it's very important uh, for us to see film like uh, uh, in the history also like literature mm -hmm. uh, uh, or arts in general. It it it's meant to be there to you know to. To intrigue you, mm -hmm. to inspire you, to give you some uh, thoughts after watch it, mm -hmm. uh, watching it, and I, I hope this film can also be one of them. Uh, Story of a Mother is, you know, very, very classic, but sometimes in in a very, I, I think it's a ve in a very male-dominated culture of cinema. Uh, there, there are not, there are not many films yeah. that focusing on women on on uh, mother uh, as a central character. So this is a chance to see, well, a little bit sh shadowy or a little bit darker story of a, of a family, but I, I think it's, it can be a good uh, way to start a conversation about it. Great. Um, so Indonesia is a very devoutly Muslim country. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have any words for you know, aspiring filmmakers that also want to create more content that sort of you know, pushes the boundaries of what is considered you know, mainstream mm -hmm. and, and acceptable? And, in a very religious context. Mm. I think it's, we are a very, of course we are uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, Muslim population, uh, pop populated country in the world, but this is not a Muslim country. Indonesia is not an Islam, is, uh, Islamic country, and it's a very secular country, as that's why it make it very interesting. Um, what, another film that's shown in Vancouver is Copy of My Mind uh, by uh, my friend, director Joko Anwar. Uh, it's also a very interesting uh, uh, window of different side of Indonesia comparing to what I portray. Mm -hmm. It's a very liberal, it's very democratic, it's a um, uh, very, I should say, uh, you know, of course, there are corruption everywhere, but it, at least in, 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 in cinema and nowadays, uh, there are filmmakers that, you know, willing to push the boundaries and push the envelope a little bit further. Mm -hmm to talk about very critical thing. And I think this is something uh, that uh, developing very well in Indonesia, uh, media, uh, uh, journalism, and also film. Perfect. So, and what's next for you as a filmmaker? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, uh, this year has been very busy because I was releasing two films. I, I, sh I produce, uh, we produced two films last year. Uh, I directed two, and then this year I, I I re distributed, uh, involved in the promotion and distribution of the films. I went to film festivals, so it's very, very busy year. So I hope next year we started to develop another story, hopefully in March. Um, it looks like it's going to be another biopic of a very famous and very provocative writer came from Indonesia in the 60s. Uh, and I hope it can be, re can be seen sometimes in 2018. Great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you so Perfect. much. Great. Nice to be here. <laughs>